this morning and I saw um, a post about um, some brothers and sisters in Christ that are losing their job because um, they're nurses and uh, they're refusing to take the uh, mandate uh, vaccine. So they're jobless and um, many other brothers and sisters in Christ in other um, um, occupations like the airline, they're facing that too. And so um, I was just feeling that burden and I've been praying for the Lord to comfort my brothers and sisters that are going through this persecution. And um, so I was reading this word um, from my favorite, one of my favorites. I have many favorites. She's one of my top favorites. Um, Dr. June Sheltron Reich, just a prophetic minister anointed and she's just awesome and she brought this word and I thought that since the word encouraged me it would encourage many of you out there right now that are facing with these situations or sickness and you're needing healing and deliverance my eyes have been um puffy and swollen and itchy watery uh since Thursday so it, I've been miserable, um, so I'm healing, is healing, but I still need complete healing. So I want to bring us this word before I run out, just to encourage your heart, lift up your spirit. Um, and I believe that if we make the Most High our habitation, that we will have all that we'll need. The healing, the deliverance, the provision, the protection, the comfort that we need. Amen. So I just encourage you guys. I encourage each and every one of us more so than ever to make the most high our dwelling place. Wait upon the Lord. Be in his presence. Watch and pray and pray in the spirit building ourselves up because we need his presence. We need his protection, his provision, his comfort more so than ever. And he's faithful to take care of us, to heal us, to deliver us from everything, amen, that um, this world um, has that's not so favorable, that's not so pleasant. We overcome through him in his presence, amen, hallelujah. All right, the Lord, your healer and deliverer, I am, and there is none other beside me, says the Lord. I am your healer. I am your deliverer. I am your provider. I am your savior and your God. I am your helper. I am your keeper. I am your protector. I am all that you need. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are. There is nothing, nothing, nothing impossible with me. I have prepared a place for you in heaven that is far beyond what your eyes have ever seen and your imagination could ever visualize. If you've never seen your, your mansion that Jesus has built for you, I exhort you, I encourage you to ask him. You know, he says you have not because you ask not. So we need to ask, we need to seek and knock, amen, and ask him, say, Father, would you please reveal your inheritance, <laughs> your mansion that you built for me? Would you please reveal it? And I believe that he will. Um, you've heard my testimony. Jesus revealed what my mansion looked like in heaven. And that was in 2016. He was almost finished building it. It was like, 80 90 percent complete back then so i know it's completed by now and uh, my mansion was on a high mountain overlooking the ocean it was magnificent i'm going to turn this video camera so you can see the ocean. but the mansion that jesus built for me was magnificent it was the water was glistening it was just so breathtakingly beautiful guys and um this is just a glimpse of the goodness that god has 
for me. I really believe that. And he gives us the desires of our hearts. So ask him, say, Father, please reveal your secrets, your mysteries to me. Because he says that those who fear him, he will make his covenant known with them. Amen. I believe he'll do it for you. All right. Is it too hard for me to provision you with a place to live now? I own the silver and the gold. You will walk with me on streets of gold, not silver. I was just telling my sweet, wonderful, amazing sister in Christ, my friend and my client a minute ago, well, 30 minutes ago, we were on the phone chatting and praying together that um, if it was not for God, I would not be here where I am right now today in this beachfront property looking at the beautiful ocean and having the beauty of the sunrise and sunset, the dolphins swimming by. I would not have this if it was not for God because these places here is way out of my price range. But because of God's goodness, he's placed me here because our daddy, our father is the king of kings and the Lord of lords and he owns it all. He owns the oceans. He owns the hills. He owns the gold. He owns it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. You are such a good father. Thank you, Lord. All right. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. I own the hills. The earth belongs to me. Did you think that it is difficult or impossible for me to feed you? I created everything you see and that which is unseen. Hallelujah. The things that are unseen are more real than the things that are seen. The things that are unseen are eternal. The things that are seen are temporal. Amen. So what you see right now, that beautiful ocean right there, you're looking at right there, that's temporal. But the things that are unseen is eternal. And he has amazing, glorious, unseen, eternal things for us, for those who love him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I get so excited. I need to calm down. <laughs> All right. Do you think I am unable to do something about what you see and know? That is minute to what I see and know and created. Beyond your understanding, I ask, do not limit me, says the Lord. I am unlimited, and there is no place that I am not present. There is nothing that gets by my attention. I see it all. I know it all. I understand it all. And I can do something about your circumstances. This is for each one of us. This is for you if you're needing healing, deliverance jobs, employments, protection, homes, food, whatever you need. Our God sees it all, knows it all, understands it all, and he owns it all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I can do all things and do them well. I will. Everything is in my control, and I created all things that exist. I created you for my purpose and glory and I can do something about you. I will move in your behalf, and I will move upon you by my spirit, and I will move you. I will move you. Let that sink in. God may move some of you to another place, another city, another town. Be of good cheer, for I am the Almighty, ever-present, all-knowing God in the midst of you, and there is nothing that I cannot do. I am with you. I am upholding you by my own right hand. And in that same dream, guys, where Jesus was showing me my mansion in front of the ocean on a high mountain, um, before I got there, I was uh, driving in my little car, which represents my life. I was driving uh, my little car in the dark, going forward as fast as I could, in pitch darkness, I could not see where I was going. And then I fell off the cliff, my car. I drew it off the cliff and I was falling off the cliff and I was screaming out, Father, help me. So as I was screaming out to the Lord to help me, I saw God's huge palm, huge 
big monstrous palm like coming down from heaven and he scooped me up in his palm and he scooped my little car and me inside that car up in his little palm and he placed it gently on a safe path and I kept driving happily all the way till I got to my mansion. The message of that dream and the message of this message <laughs> is that we will go through much troubles and tribulations in this life. Jesus promised it and we're going through it. There's no escaping it. However, our God is faithful and his eyes are forever on us and his hands are always holding us up. And he showed me that in that dream and it's in his word. It is written. So therefore it is settled. You are in his mighty strong right arm. He's holding you up. He's not going to let you fall and be destroyed. Amen. As long as we make him abide in him, abide in the shelters of the most high, make the Lord our God our habitation, wait upon him, seek him in his words daily, pray and love and honor and adore him because he's worthy. Amen. He will take care of us and he will hold us in his right hand. Hallelujah. And I will not leave you. What is your need? What is your need? I told him my need many times and I'm believing for God to give me my needs. He knows what it is. Ask me, I will supply all your need according to my riches that be in glory. For I am the Christ, the anointed, who lives in you. I am your all in all at all times, seasons, and in all circumstances, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you for this word that you've given through Dr. June Sheltron, right? Bless her, bless her, bless her church, bless her family. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and the honor. We love you, Lord. Bless my brothers and sisters, Lord. Quicken their heart, their spirit, Lord, with faith, with hope, with strength. Let strength arise. Let God arise in their situation. Let God arise and the enemy scatters, Father. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord, for everything. We bless you for your goodness, your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. You will never leave us or abandon us. Father, lead my brothers and sisters, Lord, those who seek you, God, in the secret places. Reveal your covenant to them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Father. Pour out your spirit, Lord God, upon all flesh, all flesh that seeks you, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Quicken them. Strengthen them, Lord. Give them holy boldness and courage in the mighty name of Jesus. Lead them, Lord. You said you will lead the humble in your ways. Help us, Lord, to be humble, to seek you every day. In your holy name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.